or welcome fire signs and thank you for being here today. This is your weekend love message. Weekend commencing Friday the 15th of January through to Sunday the 17th of January 2021. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. Let's have a look and see what they're telling us, fire signs. Your first crowning message, mouse spirit, tend to the small things. And wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. Okay, fire signs, before I kind of go into your reading, I did attempt to do um, your weekend reading last night and I don't know whether or not the the energy of you was too strong for me. Um, but what I want to share with you is that it's a new day um, and I've started your messages again. And what is so profound for me is that the fundamental message that's coming through was exactly the same message as last night. Different cards, different, uh, uh, I mean, the same cards, but different actual crowning messages, different crowning wisdom messages. But fundamentally, the message is the same. So fire signs, um, I... I'm just asking if you can bear with me because I kind of feel as though um, I kind of feel as though I'm going through a bit of a learning process um, with your energy um, for this for this weekend. Um, so if I pause, just be really mindful that I'm just trying to ground myself. OK, Um because I don't, I don't believe it's a coincidence that the fundamental message um, that came through last night has come out again um, today. Um, but I, I, I don't know, like I say, I don't know whether or not the energy was too strong for me. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you, Fire Signs, because um, I'm on this journey um, just as much as you're on this journey with me so bear with me all right let's get back to your messages okay mouse spirit tend to the small things fire signs um i feel as though there is some sort of detail some sort of nuance with either um a work situation a project or a relationship that you are not quite seeing and I feel as though you're being guided to really really look into either patterns of behavior or cycles or looking at almost like the subtleties of the things that aren't being said okay so it almost feels as though you're being guided to read in between the lines of a question of the question that you're asking for or whoever you are connecting to. With regards to the wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. This is letting you know that you do have the knowledge and the wisdom within you to tackle something that you're not seeing at this time. It's as though you're being guided. Um, you, do you know something? You might actually be going through... Um, a repeat of a lesson or cycle almost as a bit of a tester to see if you've really learned. So that's why I feel as though you're being guided A, to tend to the small details, but B, know and trust that your spirit team is around you right now and that they are encouraging you to really dig deep within and turn the knowledge that you have within you into wisdom in order to deal with whatever it is you're not seeing the finer detail to. Okay, thank you. 
for your crowning wisdom message fire signs you have hidden realms create conscious awareness and cosmic ancestors voice your concerns now with the hidden realms create conscious awareness i feel as though how can i put this when we manifest when we set our intentions when we wish when we pray our spirit teams our animal totems they take those wishes dreams aspirations manifestation intentions and they take it into um, a, a hidden realm, almost kind of like a holding place where, where it, it, it coalesces. It is, um, it's almost if you imagine having a list of um, your wants and dreams and desires and it goes into kind of like a portal that then is kind of deliberated over, um, discussed, um, aligned with um, your 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 fate, what's written for you. Thank you. The wolf spirit also represents that you are in alignment. So you do have the knowledge and wisdom within you. But the wisdom that's coming through with the hidden realms is that you're being called to awaken your conscious, your consciousness. And this is what came out last night that you may be blocked in some shape, form or another, which is probably why you're not seeing the finer details in something. And you're being called to really ground yourself right now and create that awareness of your consciousness, your subconsciousness. Um, you may need to go through a period this weekend of almost kind of being still, maybe doing some meditation. If you are a praying person, um, just pray and and ask your your guides um your angels your spirit team to come in and help you and guide you because i feel as though whatever is going on with you fire signs this weekend um it really strongly feels as if you're really being urged to pay attention to um, signs, synchronicities, dreams, and if you're not getting them, then I feel as though you're being guided to know that you're being blocked in some shape, form or another, um, because there is something that you're not seeing and you need to see it. And it could be something that is within you personally. Maybe you're reacting to something that you've already dealt with, you've already gone through the learning and you're being called to draw upon that knowledge, open up your consciousness to try and understand what that is. With cosmic ancestors, voice your concerns. Again, whatever your questions are, I feel as though your ancestral lineage, your spirit team is coming in and guiding you um, to speak to them, to connect with them, and they will show you the way. And whatever your concerns is, as I say, as if you're a praying person, maybe this is a time to go through a period of fasting and praying. If you are somebody that's quite connected in, you know, around um, meditation, connecting with Mother Earth, connecting with the universe through meditation, through um, connecting and aligning your chakra system, you're being guided to do that right now so that you can operate from a place of clarity, understanding. Because I feel as though whatever is being coalesced in the hidden realms, it almost feels as if spiritually on the 5D, on the astral plane, you're kind of being called up to, how can I put it? Put your case forward is want of a better word. Really, really profound. I, I, I can't. 
As I say, fire signs, I feel as though that I am going through a another level of um, being a vessel um, to receive and deliver messages. So bear with me. I will try and articulate as clearly as possible what I am picking up. Um, but for this week, because these are the same cards that I'll be using for the individual zodiac signs, it really may be worth you um, having a look at your individual signs um, when I when I get round to them. I haven't recorded them yet um, to give you some more insight. Anyway, all right. Um, fire signs, if this message is resonating with you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up on this video. I'm just going to get straight into your, um, your main messages. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmate of Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekend commencing Friday the 15th of January through to Sunday the 17th of January 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aries, Leo and Sagittarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. All right. My angels and spirit guides, let's focus on Aries first of all. All right. Thank you. Oh, okay. Aries, you have three cards. We have the three of fire. We have the ten of fire. And we have the nine of fire. And the fire is representative of um, wands in the um, traditional tarot. And this is all about action intentions. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? We can thank you. We have temptation which is equivalent to the devil card, um, Leo, in traditional tarot. I thought that wanted to jump out. My angels and spirit guide, thank you. And we have the eight of fire. I'm feeling to pull one more card for you, Leo. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can give me one more card. How does the soulmates of Leo, Sun, Moon, thank you. And we have the message of, messenger of water. Water is equivalent to the uh, cups in traditional tarot, um, Leo's. And the messenger is equivalent to the knight. So the knight of um, cups is coming through. Whoops, thank you. For Sagittarius, we have the Hanged Man. We have Transformation. And I feel to have one more card. Transformation is equivalent to the Death card in traditional tarot, Sagittarius. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you give me one more card? What, just one? Just one for the collective of Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising and Venus in love. Thank you. And we have the page of water, which is the page of cups. Okay. So, Leo, we're going to just put your cards to one side. And Sagittarius, we're just going to put your cards to one side also. All right. All right. Aries, okay, so we have the three of fire, the ten of fire, and the nine of fire. 
Okay, so Aries, whoever you are connecting to um, right now, I feel as though they are uh, waiting um, with that three of fire, which is the three of swords. I feel as though they're waiting. They're waiting on something, either waiting on you. Because something is quite burdensome for them um, with that ten of fire, which is equivalent to the um, ten of uh, wands. And with the nine of fire, which is the ten of, um, sorry, the nine of wands, something is burdensome for whoever you are connecting with. And I feel as though... They are trying to put something behind them and surrendering to this connection with you. But I feel as though, um, Aries, there's something that you are not seeing. You are not seeing the detail um, behind whatever is burdensome for this person with that ten of fire they may be juggling um they may be juggling the burden of whatever is going on with you and i feel as though you're being guided um almost to connect to connect so that you can see clearly the action that you're supposed to take with this person um Remember that you are in alignment with yourself right now and you do have the knowledge and the wisdom to see through what perhaps isn't being said. But I feel as though they do want to, they, they will surrender to this, um, to this connection, but they're waiting on you. They're waiting on you with that three of fire. They may see you as, as juggling something that's quite burdensome. Let's have a look at your clarifiers, um, Aries. But they're waiting on something. It's burdensome for them. They're trying to put it behind them and surrender to this connection let's have a look at uh, your clarifiers thank you so first of all we have the uh, five of spells which is um, equivalent to the five of uh, wands and we have the four of challenges which is equivalent to the four of swords in traditional tarot so I feel as though whatever they are waiting on um, Aries, they are most definitely feeling quite internally conflicted. And that probably explains why they, whatever is going on between the two of you is quite burdensome. It's either they have got internal, internal conflicts or they're waiting on, or you may have internal conflicts. And they may be waiting to um, clear this out or, or, or talk, talk about it in some shape, form or another. And I feel as though they are in a period with the four of challenges, um, rest in that monkey mind. Internal conflict, rest in that monkey mind, waiting over a situation that's burdensome for them. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in love feel towards them? Weekends, whoop, okay. And we have the hermit. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you, thank you. And we have the eight of challenges. Yeah. Okay. And let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. 
please can you clarify how does the soulmate of aries sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love thank you we have the forge and we have the weaver of challenges okay all right aries let's go from the beginning this person is waiting on you for something and I feel as though they are internally conflicted with this five of spells, which is the five of wands. With the four of challenges, they're going within, trying to rest that monkey mind, um, holding on to you for dear life, but it's really burdensome for them. Um, whatever this internal conflict is that they've got going on with them and I feel as if they're going within this person may have pulled back from you quite slightly um, eerie so if if this is resonating with you it's because there's something around this connection that is really burdensome for them and I feel that you're being guided with your crowning message to really look at the detail of this because you have the knowledge and the wisdom within you to deal with this. Call upon your spirit guides. It almost feels as if you need to ground yourself right now to see clearly what's going on with this person that you're connecting with. They've most definitely gone within. Um, you could be dealing with somebody that has Virgo in their chart or you may have Virgo. With the Eight of Challenges, which is the Eight of Swords, I feel as though this person is really, really analysing whatever is burdensome for them, hence why they're going within. With the Nine of Swords surrendering to this connection, with the um, Forge, which is Temperance, they are applying Patience, um, and the Weaver of Challenges is the Queen of Swords. I feel as though this person wants to speak their truth in some shape, form or another, or you may want to speak your truth. But I feel as though they are applying patience. OK, I feel as though they're just being guided. OK, I'm being guided right now to say on their side, they are waiting on something that is burdensome for both of you and you may be surrendering to this connection trying to put it behind you it's as though this person is internally conflicted going within um resting that monkey mind trying to understand um this burden and i feel as though they're going within trying to seek guidance wisdom over something that is really burdensome and they could be juggling it really juggling it in their mind on your side um Aries I feel as though you may be really over analyzing really in your mind with this eight of challenges which is the eight of swords it's as though um Aries you you are in this kind of mental prison Whatever is burdening you around this connection, I feel as though it's really got you up in your head, really overanalyzing. And I feel that you will surrender. You, I feel as though you're the one that's going to try and put um, whatever is derailing this connection for a hot minute behind you and surrender to this connection. But you are applying patience before you come in and speak your truth. Um, with the forge here, you could be dealing with, um, this is temperance, so you could be dealing with somebody that has Sagittarius in their chart, or you may have Sagittarius in your chart. Male or female, I feel as though um, this weaver of challenges, I feel as though Aries, you, you, you want to speak your truth and you may surrender to speak your truth at the right time, which kind of makes sense as to why you're being guided to really look at the detail. And with this eight of challenges, this is you putting yourself in a mental prison over something that is really burdensome for you. And I feel as though the wisdom that's coming in for you is that you really, really need to ground yourself right now and go within 
Go within and ask your spirit team, your angels, your spirit guides to help you decipher what the heck is going on with you guys. But there is some sort of detail that you're not seeing with this connection. There's something you're not seeing. And I feel as though you will surrender and try and put it behind you before you speak your truth. But you're you're being patient. They may also want to speak their truth in some shape, form or another. And I feel as though when this conversation happens, Aries, just trust that you are in alignment and you have the knowledge and the wisdom to deal with this. Let's have a look at your um, advice, um, Aries. OK, thank you. Look at that. Look at that. I. I can't even make that up. Grounded. Keep to your roots and stand taller than the trees. What did I say? It's as though you're being guided to remain grounded in this situation so that you can see the detail of what's going on. And it may be a detail that has actually not been spoken. So you need to almost navigate and read in between the lines, which is why I feel as though you're being guided to use your wisdom and knowledge to call upon your spirit team, to call upon divine universe to help you navigate and see what is really going on. Because whatever it is, it's really burdensome for both of you. Both of you. I feel like I need to pull another advice card. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. And your second look at that light. Look to the space between the trees for answers. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. All right, Aries. There is something you're not seeing. And even though this is, I feel quite burdensome for you for a hot minute. Trust me, it is just as burdensome for you. And I feel as though this person is waiting um, before they say or do anything really wanting to make wise decisions but you're being guided to remain grounded call in your um your spirit team because i feel as as you call them in voice your concerns to them and i feel as though they will show you the light between the trees to give you the answers of how best to speak your truth. So Aries, I feel whatever you've got trapped in your mind right now, this mental prison, take off that blindfold, take it off and call upon your spirit team to show you the way and trust that you have the knowledge and wisdom within you to see the light. You will get through this, whatever it is, um, Aries. Wow. Okay, I'm going to leave that one there for you, Aries. Okay, now I understand why I was called to pull three cards, which I feel as though I need to do for all of the signs. Okay, so next we have Leo. Leo, we have temptation, the eight of fire and the messenger of water. So Leo's uh, temptation is equivalent to the. Um, yeah, to the devil card, sorry. Um, temptation is equivalent to the devil card. Um, so you could be connecting with somebody that has Capricorn in their chart or you may have Capricorn in your chart. The Eight of Fire is all around um, the wands. So you could be um, you could be dealing with. I feel as though with the Eight of Wands or the Eight of Fire, um, Major transformation, um, first of all, uh, Leo's, that whoever you're connecting to is going through. With the Eight of Fire, I feel as though this is um, back and forth communication between the two of you around messages of emotion, messages of love. But it, this is on your side and I feel as if you're turning your back um, 
towards this love. I feel as though they're going through a major transformation um, in some shape, form or another, um, Leo's. And you coming in with this uh, messenger of water, which is the Knight of Cups in traditional tarot. Back and forth communication between the two of you. And again, it's really interesting because I feel as though there is some sort of detail that you may not be seeing um, between this back and forth com um, communication. They're going through a major transformation um, with that temptation card there. And it feels as though um, it feels as though you're walking away. You're walking away. Let's have a look at your clarifications, uh, Leo. Do you know something, um, Leos, this feels not for all of you, but with your cosmic ancestors, voice your concerns. I am picking up as it's almost as if um, your ancestors or generational lineage has walked this path before, before you. Whoever you are connecting to, and there's this back and forth communication, they're going through transformation, but you're walking away with this cup of, of love, emotion. But it feels as, as though your generational um, ancestors or lineage um, has, has, got, has walked this path already. And I feel as though uh -huh, that's why they're saying to you, Look at the detail. There's something that you're not seeing um, in this connection. But just trust that you have the knowledge and wisdom to see it, to deal with this. And for whatever reason, Leo, I, I feel as though I just really, really strongly feel as though the wisdom that's coming in is that your ancestors, your generational lineage, has already walked this path so call upon them call upon them um yeah awaken your conscious awareness to connect in order to ask for the help as you walk this path right now let's let's uh clarify thank you the first card you have is the seeker of spells and the seeker here is the knight of <coughs> the knight of wands so this person may be a little bit inconsistent with whatever transformation they're going through let's just continue let's pull out all your, your cards yeah we've got the two of challenges which is the two of swords in traditional tarot my angels and spirit guides thank you we have the six of spells which is the Six of Wands. Thank you. We have the Keeper of Visions. And the Keeper of Visions is, equi uh, is, is equivalent to the, um, the King of Cups. You may see this person as um, somebody that has a lot of love for you. And look at that. We've got the enchanter's world and the fairy wind okay so all right let's um just put these here all right leos whoever you are connecting with with temptation is going through a major transformation you could be dealing with somebody that has capricorn in their chart or you have capricorn in your chart Whatever transformation they are going through at this time, I feel as though with the Seeker of Spells, this is the Knight of Wands, they may be a little bit inconsistent, um, passionate towards making change, um, going through this transformation. And they may be communicating that with you, 
but I feel as though it's a little bit inconsistent, okay, whatever changes they're going through. And I feel as though whatever is going on with the two of you, I feel as though with the two of challenges, they're at a crossroads. And I feel as though it's being reflected back at them, perhaps their inconsistency. Um, they may be going through something as they're going through this change that it's being reflected back at them that change needs to happen. But they don't quite know how to progress, which explains why they are perhaps being a bit inconsistent. But they are taking strong action to make changes, to go through this transformation. It's as though they are seeing very clearly that they're going through a transformation, but they don't quite know. How can I put it? It's like they don't know how to do it if that makes sense. And they may communicate that to you. And I feel as though you're being guided to really look at the detail of what they're going through. You, do you know something, uh, Leos? You may honestly be some, you may be a star seed. You may be quite a healing um, energy for this person. Somebody that is a confidant, um, to them so i feel as though really kind of look at the detail um around this um leos because i feel as you look at the detail you will see that they are trying to the six of spells is equivalent to the six of uh wands um and i feel as though I feel as though that they are trying really, really hard to communicate to you that they recognise they're going through a transformation. They're not quite sure how to do it, how to really transform they may be a bit consistent and they may communicate to you victory they may the the six of spells is uh, equivalent to the six of wands leo so it's as though they may be it's almost as if they are feeling very victorious With this Keeper of Visions, which is the King of um, Cups, this person may have a lot of love for you. You may see this person as, as having a lot of love for you. Unconditional love. And they may communicate it in a strange way and they feel victorious, which is why they're communicating to you. Do, Leo, it's like, it's like they... Beside a romantic connection, it's as though you are, you are a confidant. You're somebody that they can rely on. You may be really healing for this person. And I feel as though whatever changes they're going through, they're going to come out victorious because they understand that they have a lot of love for you. Unconditional love. And I feel as though they know that they, you are the one that they want. You are the one that they want to spend time with. They want to have this long-term commitment. And that may be the small detail that you are not seeing. The subtlety of the change that they're going through. Communicating that, you know what, Leo, I can see... I can see that I need to change, but I don't quite know how. And the reason why they are perhaps looking at the detail of the changes that they have to go through is because they understand that you are the person that they want to have this long term commitment with. Because they have unconditional love for you. 
And it feels as though you may see this person as having unconditional love for you. But with this messenger of water, I feel as though, yeah, you've got emotion for this person, but you are almost disconnecting, walking away from perhaps getting too much involved with whatever they're communicating to you around change, transformation. And with this enchanter's wheel, which is the wheel of fortune, do you know something, um, Leos? I feel as though the uh, enchanter's wheel is the wheel of fortune in traditional tarot. I feel as though you are fated to, to do this. This sounds really crazy and really out there. But even though you may see this person that has a lot of love for you, un unconditional love, and they may be communicating, it's only you that they want to spend their life with. They feel victorious with you, which is why they're going through this transformation over whatever you're going through right now. And I feel as though the detail that you may be guided to just know that you have the wisdom and knowledge is that actually you may have to walk away. Hence why the cosmic ancestors are coming in. Your generational lineage has already walked this path. So you are not alone. And that's why I feel as if you're being guided to connect. Um, if you're feeling a little bit ungrounded, connect. Because I feel as though with this fairy wind, which is equivalent to um, the chariot in traditional tarot, um, so you could also be dealing with somebody that's got cancer or you may have cancer in your chart, um, Leos. It's almost if you, it's it's like you just want to, it's like you want to just rush, rush, rush towards a new future, a new chapter. Because if you notice, this fairy wind isn't facing this person, it's facing this way. It's like you have you have emotion for this person, but it's like, look at, look at that. It's like you're being guided to, to, to go towards a different path. And it may seem really small right now, but maybe that's the small detail that you need to pay attention to. Call in your cosmetic, um, co cosmetic, um, cosmic ancestors to voice your concerns as to how you walk away from this intact without want of a better word hurting this person because whatever you're doing uh leo i feel as though it's it's fated you are supposed to walk from this and with that fairy wind it's as though you want to get on that chariot and just rush forward to this to this path. And if you notice, you're moving, the chariot is moving away. It's moving away from this connection. This is real deep, real deep. Now I can understand why they called me to pull three cards for, the, for you guys. And it goes back to what I was saying, Fire Signs. Last night, the energy of these cards was so strong. It was almost as if I, I just couldn't handle it. So I really had to go into prayer this morning um, um, to seek guidance to help me deliver this message. And when your crowning messages pretty much came, I mean, they were different cards, but the fundamental message was exactly the same. And and I just, I knew, I just knew that, you know, I had to deliver this message because that's what was being given to me for all of those uh, fire signs that will be connecting um, with this video, with this message. Uh, you know, m my spirit team knows all of you before you even watch this. So...
want of a better way of being too harsh, particularly to those cross watchers out there, uh, Leos, I feel as though you are being guided to tend to the small detail and the small detail is a new path that I feel that you're supposed to walk, but your ancestors, your generational lineage has already walked this path. And I feel as though you're being guided to call upon them to help you because right now it's as though you want to rush towards a new beginning, a, a new journey. And you may feel that right in the heart of your soul, your spirit, that it's time to tend to a small detail and it's about you. Okay, let me uh, just get your advice cards. My angels and thank you. And we look at that, look at that path. Wonder on the path less travelled. What you find might surprise you. What did I just say? You know what, Leos? You might be really feeling this different path right at the heart of your soul, within your heart, within your soul, within your spirit. And you know what? I, I really, really feel as though you need to go with that and just trust you are aligned. You might be a little bit blocked to present your case in the hidden realms because you're being called right now to connect directly with universe, spirit, divine, your higher self and call upon your uh, cosmic ancestors to to walk away from this situation without hurting this person because I feel as though in their mind you are the one that they want to be with and they're going through transformation which I feel as though they have to go through that and they may see you as a confident as somebody that they can talk to you about it but it almost feels as if you you want to be there for this person because you know that they have a lot of love for you, unconditional love for you. But it also feels as though you kind of want to cut that cord. And I feel that you will because it is fated. And you have the knowledge and the wisdom because you are in alignment. It's like you're almost there. It's just that you have to... I almost feel, you know what, operate from a place of peace and love. Be there for this person, but emotionally disconnect because I feel that's what you're going to do anyway. Because you want to rush to this small detail that's niggling at you to take a path, a new path. And your second advice is, oh gosh, look at that, origins. Remember your roots. Leos, I've literally just got a chill that's gone down me. Your ancestral lineage has walked this path already and I feel as though you are being guided to remember your roots. This may even be a generation um, that you um, have probably lived with in, in this lifetime. That is why you're being called to call upon them. So if they have passed over... They are around you right now. Remember your origins. Remember your roots. You may have witnessed um, your ancestors, um, you know, family members. Um, you may have witnessed them walking away from something that didn't serve them. And you may not have understood it, but I feel as though you you understand it now and that may be the small detail that you are being called to pay attention to it's almost as if you are getting to that next level which is why you're being guided to open up that conscious awareness because your cosmetic and cosmetic cosmic ancestors 
are waiting. They're waiting for you to voice your concerns so that they can show you the light of how to come out of this. Come out of this situation without hurting this person, but also being true to what is fated for you. Wow. All right. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Let's move on to our beautiful, beautiful collective energy of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, okay. For you, we have the hangman, we have transformation, and we have the page of water. So Sagittarius, whoever you are connecting to is most definitely reflecting on some sort of transformation, some sort of change that both of you are going through. And I feel as though um, you may be coming in Sagittarius of um, messages of emotion, of love, whilst you go through this transformation. Again, very similar to Leo, it's as though you are... Um, trying to deal with a major change with whoever you are connecting to with love and peace in your heart. Um, with the transformation card, um, Sagittarius, you could be, um, you could be dealing with um, somebody that has Scorpio in their chart or you may have Scorpio, but this is major transformation. This is equivalent to the death card in traditional tarot. The page of water is um, is is obviously the page of, of cups. So I feel as though you have emotion for this person, but you're going through change. They're going through change. And I feel as if they are really reflecting on this connection with you. And that's something that you need to really look at the detail of. Let's let's have a look at your clarifications. <clears throat> Thank you. So we have the uh, white heart, which is equivalent to the four card, Sagittarius. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify how does the soulmate? Thank you. We have the three of challenges, which is the three of swords. We have the black skunk, which is a equivalent to the death card. So we have got um, we have got the uh, death card clarifying the death card. Major, major transformation. Um, you could have somebody really, really strongly. Uh, with Scorpio in their chart um, and then we have the enchanter um, the magician in traditional tarot let me just pull all of the cards out my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you we have the ace of challenges and we have the weaver of boons uh, which is equivalent to the queen of pentacles um Ace of Challenges is equivalent to the Ace of Swords. The Enchanter is the Magician and the Black Skunk is the um, Death card. Okay, Sagittarius, whoever you are connecting with, okay, um, that's in this hangman position, reflecting uh, on this connection with you, I feel as though both of you realise there is change, there's major change major transformation um, that needs to go on in this connection. I feel as though with this three of challenges, first of all, with the white heart, I feel as though this person wants to take a leap of faith, but they are reflecting. They want a new beginning. And I feel as though with the three of challenges, which is a three of swords, they are hurt in some way. And you know something, you may not see that detail because they may not be communicating with, um, they may not be communicating that with you. But I feel right at the heart of it, they know that something really has to change. 
for you, uh, Sagittarius, you also recognise that there is change that needs to happen with this connection. And I feel as though you're manifesting, wishing, hoping, praying. Look at that owl. You're seeking wisdom. And I feel as you do so that you want to come in with messages of emotion to speak your truth. And I feel as whether you're male or female, I feel as though um, this is your energy coming in. Um, Sagittarius, I feel as though this person sees you as somebody that is grounded, abundant, balanced, wise which resonates with the wolf spirit coming in. You are in alignment, but there might be something blocking you just ever so slightly that you're being called to awaken your conscious awareness to seek guidance around this change, which I feel both of you are in agreement needs to happen. But this person does want a new beginning. They're really reflecting over heartache, upset, disappointment, wanting a new beginning, recognising there is ch major, major change that needs to happen. And I feel as though you're in agreement with them and, and you are manifesting that. And I feel as part of that change, the detail I feel that you need to be paying attention to Sagittarius is, again, like like Leo's, treating this situation with love and peace in your heart to speak your truth and to remain balanced and, and, and grounded when you do so, because you do have the knowledge and the wisdom within you to deal with this major transformation between you and this person. And as you do so, I feel as though the wisdom that's coming in, keep yourself grounded, Sagittarius, call upon your spirit team, call upon your um, cosmic ancestors to guide you as to how you speak your truth in a balanced and grounded way. So that this transformation um, is beneficial to both of you. And that may be the small detail that you're not seeing and that you need to pay attention to. Because this person in some shape, form or another um, is either going through some sort of heartache or something between <coughs> the two of you has derailed this connection for a hot minute and they feel quite, they feel hurt. They feel hurt and I feel they want a new beginning. They, they know that transformation needs to happen. They are reflecting at this moment. So Sagittarius, if this person has pulled back, a for, for, um, if they've pulled back slightly, I feel as though you're being guided to seek guidance from your spirit team, from divine, your higher self, your from universe to come in with messages of love, operating from a place of love, peace and light to speak your truth, but speak it in a, in from a place that is grounded and balanced and just trust the alley of the wolf spirit is around you. You are in alignment. It may not feel like it, but you are. And you do have the knowledge and wisdom within you to address this major transformation that I feel that both of you want to be fair. Let's have a look at your advice messages. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. Look at that journey, branch out to new worlds. Absolutely, it feels as though you're being guided with the advice here to A, trust that you have the knowledge and wisdom to journey into this transformation, major transformation for both of you. And you may really have to... Um, 
well, branch out into new worlds, branch out into um, meditation, prayer, grounding, because it's all part of the journey and you have the knowledge and the wisdom within you. And that may be the, the, the small detail that you need to almost help focus you to speak your truth in a grounded, balanced way. You are both going on a journey um, for sure. And I feel as though you're being guided to recognise that, to recognise that this is part of the life journey with this person. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. Oh, look at that. Dance. Allow yourself some fun each day, just as the sun dances with the moon each night. Absolutely. And do you know what, um, Sagittarius? You know, I feel as what whatever has happened for a hot minute that has created this person to feel quite heartbroken. I feel as though you have the knowledge and the wisdom to shine your light, to continue on this journey of transformation, of change. But also as you come in with these messages of emotion to speak your truth in a grounded, um, wise and balanced way, bring some fun, bring, you know, it almost feels as if shine your light. Uh, yeah, shine your light, um, dance to... Uh, what makes your heart and soul sing there may be something that um you both share um maybe in the creative arts that that you're being called to connect with to bring that light touch to bring that fun and laughter because i mean this is major major transformation but just remember, Sagittarius, this person does want a new beginning, okay? All right, fire signs, I'm going to leave that there for you. Um, if this message is resonating, um, please feel free to uh, click that thumbs up on the um, video. And if you would like to know when I'm uploading new messages, please also feel free to subscribe. All other information is down below in the description box, um, particularly if you want to follow me on Instagram. And also, I did forget at the beginning, um, uh, Fire Signs, I just want to um, reach out and say thank you for all of your donations. I am truly, truly grateful. Right now, um, Fire Signs, I'll be honest with you, I'm really, really glad I've got this message out um until next weekend i'm sending you loads and loads of love peace and light take care bye bye